Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with a new process video. And this video is actually for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Uh, any of the members of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club that on the 9th is a day that kind of we've chosen that if anyone wants to post a layout using one of their past kits or something pertaining to the Secret Not Secret Kit Club or one of Christina's other kit clubs like the Creative Cuts Club or whatnot, that this is the day that we sort of have chosen that we'll post a video if uh, we choose to. And so I had actually been working on this video or this layout, I should say, um, a couple of weeks back. And so I'm finally getting it up on my channel. And I was actually working through a couple of past kits. This was like my September and August secret, not secret kit club kits. And so I decided that I would use this for my layout today. And as you can see, neither one of these or none of these papers or anything on this layout is at all Christmas related. I know most of us right now are definitely scrapping all things sort of Christmas and, you know, December daily related in a lot of cases. Uh, this layout is absolutely not that. It's definitely more on the summery and bright colors side. I was actually using my um, last full 12 by 12 was that floral of the Coco Vanilla Happiness Collection. And so I was using that and then some of the papers from my uh, Pink Fresh Office collection on this layout. And so I just wanted to get some of these bits and pieces used up. And so I created this layout. So while I was talking, I have cut down that beautiful floral paper. And so I'm going to use that there as a strip behind my photo, which is about a three inch strip. And then I have these frames that were actually from one of the pattern papers that I cut apart all the frames. And I'm going to back those with just a piece of pattern paper from my stash. And then I'm just going to build out, I'm going to have three clusters on this layout. And so you're going to see me here, go ahead and sort of build out the three clusters. I had already the design in my head that it was going to be this vertical de design. And so I just pulled my embellishments and built my clusters, clusters accordingly. Now I do have that strip of piece of that strip of pattern paper off to the right um, side. It is going to go behind, but you're only going to see a very small bit of that pattern paper. So I won't use the whole thing. I end up cutting it in half, which you'll see here in a few minutes. But this is where I'm kind of deciding, is there anything else I want to do? I decided that I liked the overall design, but off camera, I glued down part of it and then decided that that strip to the right, I needed to do something with. I didn't like just having a strip of paper off to the right. So I grabbed my border punch here. That's the notebook edge. And I'm just going to cut two notches in my pattern paper. And then I'm going to just do that trick. Instead of ripping the paper, I use my border punch. And then I'm going to back the that notched out piece on both sides of the layout with this floral pattern paper. So that's why you'll see I'm going to cut this off here and then use another piece for the bottom left as well. And so I like that just little added detail. I don't put any other in additional embellishments up in that top right. Um, I just wanted to have some sort of interest over there so it wasn't so blank. I will eventually, I think, I'm not sure where my journaling is going to go yet. I haven't done journaling for this layout, but it probably, it might go up there or I might put it down um, underneath that wood grain frame. So we'll see. So here you see, I'm just going to finish putting these strips and sort of roughing up the edges for both of my two little cut aparts. And then I'm going to go back to layering up those three embellishment clusters because basically now the whole background design of my layout is complete. However, I did decide that I wanted to bring in some stamps because I thought I'm using all sort of 
pre-made embellishments for this layout, but that I thought it would be fun to pull out my stamps, which I, of course, don't use enough. And so I pulled a Technique Tuesday and a Paper Tray Ink stamp set, and I just grabbed two different blues, one in that turquoise blue color, and then one in a navy. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out just a couple of sentiments, I believe. Yeah, in the banner, I... I uh, stamp the word grateful and then I do some of the circles in I think I end up doing two but I only end up using one I believe on the layout and that grateful stamp that's inside the banner is actually going to be part of my title so you'll see that coming up here in a minute but I did end up leaving in all of my stamping which is just really simple I'm just stamping it down I have a foam sort of board that I kind of stamp on just to get a good impression. I didn't pull out my stamp platform for this one because it was really quick and simple stamping. So I didn't need to bring out the Tim Holtz platform or anything like that. Then I'm just going to fussy cut out this banner and I take a circle punch and off camera I do punch out the two little circle stamps. However, I only end up using that one that says family traditions. So now that I've got that done and I've got sort of that little additional detail, I went ahead and I'm now going to build out these clusters again now with the stamped images. I fussy cut the butterflies that also came from a piece of pattern paper from that happiness collection as well. And I'm going to fuss around with each of these clusters to kind of get them laid out exactly how I want the pieces now that I have everything cut. I know I want to put my title down here at this bottom cluster right below the photo, right below the photo. And I want to be able to nestle that grateful banner sort of in there beside the floral. So I'm going to kind of fuss with that. I keep going back and forth whether I'm going to use this other circular little stamped image. However, it eventually does come off and I don't end up using it. Basically how you see everything laid out right here is how this layout is going to pretty much come together. I'm going to finish my title with these gold uh, thickers. I love this font. I cannot remember the name of it. It came really quickly on the screen. I can't remember what it was called, but this is definitely my favorite, one of my favorite fonts of thickers. I like these smaller size alphas. And so I'm going to finish putting my title here, which is Forever Grateful. And this picture is actually a picture of some flowers from Disney World. And I was actually filming this and it was closer to Thanksgiving. And so I sort of was thinking along the Thanksgiving sort of theme when I was building this layout and just thinking about how grateful and thankful that I am, how my family is, we have the ability um, to be able to visit Disney quite often and it's one of our favorite places to spend time as a family. And so I was just creating this layout and just thinking how thankful I was. These flowers, my son had actually picked them and gave them to me <laughs> and so it was really cute. So I took a picture of these at the Polynesian right before we went. Um, I can't remember if we were going into the Magic Kingdom or leaving to go back to our resort. I'm not really sure, but I love these beautiful orchids. I think that's what they are. And so that is what this photo is of. So my journal is really just going to talk about how thankful I am that we are able to visit and spend time as a family at Disney. And that's something that I'm very grateful for. As a finishing touch for this layout, I'm just going to put some sequins in each of my clusters. And with that, you will see the still photos. And guys, I will catch you on the next one. Please, if you are interested in anything about the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, please be sure to check the link below and you can get all the details about Christina's amazing kit clubs. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.